Hello, this is David Yost. I want to thank you for watching this video. We're going to have a series of educational videos. Uh, they're meant to cause you to think or ask questions. Uh, think about your scenario, where you want to be, um, how can you take advantage of things or protect yourself in the event of certain things. So today we want to talk about interest rates. And we can go through interest rates um, over quite a time period, actually. We can look at uh, interest rates uh, clear back to the 1870s, 1850, 1870 in there. Um, and we can track trends and look at trends. I'm going to keep it really simple uh, today. Um, sorry, my artwork is not prettier uh, or better, but I think you're going to get the gist of what I'm trying to talk about and what I want you to think about. A couple things that we need to say uh, as far as legal disclosures. Uh, this is not specific investment advice. Uh, none of our videos are specific tax advice. So what we're really doing is giving you educational information that causes you to think and question and hopefully plan for a better financial future. Okay, with that, let's talk about interest rates. Um, when, back in the 1950s, uh, you know, interest rates were fairly low. Uh, matter of fact, between the 1930s and 1940s, quite low. Well, we all know what happened in the 30s. Uh, the economy just wasn't good. There just wasn't, a, you know, um, the activity uh, economically that we needed. Times were tough. Uh, wasn't growth in the economy whatsoever. So that was a period of time where interest rates were low and stayed low. But then we get to the 1950s. And things, the economy start perking up. We have the ending of World War II, um, and then we see this economy with people coming back and going to work and feeling good about our country, about their place, um, just all kinds of things that uh, were working. Uh, I can think that was the key term there, working. Um, so interest rates kind of went along, but they started to pick up. They started to pick up, and as we all know, have read, some of us have lived through it, uh, during the 70s interest rates really started to spike and uh, they peaked out in the 1980s. So in the 1980s we had you know interest rates uh, in the, the teens, you know, 10, 12, 14, 16 percent. I've heard some people talk about 18 percent interest rates, whether they were getting it or paying it. Um, so that extreme was not good for any part of our economy. Um, extreme lows, extreme highs, uh, doesn't matter if you're talking markets, the economy or the weather, uh, or is, that's not a good thing. So we go along here in the, in the 80s somewhere and the interest rates peaked out. And then from that point, we see interest rates come down and keep coming down and keep coming down. And I don't know if I have it exactly right, but you know, around 2015, they kind of hit the low, and, and many people were talking about a, a 50, 60 year low. Well, you know, it was right in there. Um, and it, it stayed low for a while. Uh, some people would back this up maybe to 2008 and say, you know, that's when uh, they really noticed it. Uh, so you can pick your time, your year, it doesn't really matter. It just was. We know we had a low, and it stayed there for a while. Uh, we had many years of declining interest rates, 30 years or so of declining interest rates. Well, for people that had money on deposit, uh, money trying to earn interest rates, that's not very good, you know, and we have a lot of baby boomers that was hitting retirement, and now their money isn't really earning them anything. I had a lot of farmers say, yeah, when I was working, and trying to build something, interest rates are 10, 12, 18%, whatever it is. And now that I'm retired, I can only get one to two? Where's the fairness in that? Well, there is no fairness in that, but that's the way it was. So, somewhere's in here, and again, I'm using about 2015, 16, uh, somewhere's in here, they kind of flattened out, they kind of hit that bottom. And that went along for a little bit, and to put contents in this video, I'm, we're sitting here at, towards the end of June 2018. Okay, So the Federal Reserve has raised the interest rates, their gauge of interest rates, a couple times now, this year. 
and they are telling us that they're going to raise it a couple more times. Well, that indicates that maybe we have hit the bottom of the interest rates and they're on their way up. Now, one thing that we all hope is that we don't do this again. What happened in the 70s and 80s where we had the pendulum swung too far. It went too high too fast. And so that's the risk that the Fed runs now is, okay, the economy seems to be doing well. We have lower taxes. Um, it just seems like, you know, the stock market's at all-time highs, thereabouts, bouncing around, of course. Um, and so whenever the economy gets rolling pretty good, the Fed feels that its main function is to kind of control that. So inflation doesn't run away. That's one of the things that we had in the 70s and, and early 80s was inflation was just out of control. And so they had to tighten that and lower interest rates in order to do that. So that helped the economy in those areas. Question is, nobody knows the answer. Where are interest rates going to go from here? Well, the trend is certainly up. How high, how long do they last? How fast does it go up? Nobody knows. Um, if the Fed doesn't ha feel they have a control or a handle on the economy, it runs away, they're gonna raise them quicker. Um, you're gonna see, um, hopefully not this scenario, but it's, it is a possibility. Um, if you're borrowing money, this is not good. You know, if you're a farm or, or a business uh, and you need to borrow funds to operate, to expand, to continue, um, you know, that's going to be really tough uh, on that. Now, if you're retired and have money that needs to earn interest, you know, to a degree you like it, but you understand that that was too much. That, that hurt everybody. Uh, that was not good for, for anybody really on that. So the happy medium, you know, could we hope for such a thing? Well, we would hope. Uh, that we could do that. Uh, history shows us that doesn't always happen. But we have had a gradual trend uh, upwards uh, of interest rates would be nice until a certain point and then plateaued out at that happy medium. Uh, it would be good for the economy, good for people who are earning interest uh, to supplement their income. Uh, you know, if it doesn't go too high, uh, business people and farmers can still borrow and make it work. Uh, they're pretty sharp at that, but when things get out of hand, it just doesn't work. Uh, so we hope for that happy medium on that. A couple other points about interest rates uh, to, to talk about is, historically, the stock market in general goes down when interest rates are high. And that's for a variety of reasons. But the simplest one is, if I can get 8 10% on a guaranteed or safe place to put my money, why would I put it all at risk in hopes of getting 10 11 12%, whatever it is in the market? Yes, I know the markets do 20 plus some years, and, and they go all over the place, I understand that. But from a risk standpoint, they say, you know, Jesus, we can collect this interest have our principal be guaranteed or be safe, why not put it there? So they pull money out of the market, put it into uh, something that's earning interest, uh, just a safer place. So that typically happens. So if we're in this trend, you know, if history repeats itself, uh, you know, it may affect the market in a negative way on that. Well, what does all this mean for you? Well, one thing, if you understand the peaks do happen. They're not necessarily good, but they do happen. And we do go through trends, you know, roughly 30 years, 30 years, 40 years, whatever it is. So we go through trends that do take a number of years. So are we in a trend of 30 years of going back up? No one knows. No one knows. But I believe we are in a trend of going up. Again, how far, how fast, how long, nobody knows. My point is I want you to think about this. 
if you were to have money, an asset, and you've seen the trend, and you believe that this is the trend, would you not want to have your money in an asset that took advantage of this? That's what I want you to think about today is, is uh, the interest rate trend. And if it is on an upward, uh, you would want your money in a place that could take advantage of that upward trend and be able to adapt and change with it. And, and so that it could go up uh, with that trend. And so that's what I want you to think about today. Uh, appreciate um, you tuning in and taking a look at our video. I'm going to talk more uh, about those specific assets in another video um, that take advantage of it. This video purpose, again, was not to give you specific uh, investment advice, but was to talk about the trends and that there are peaks and valleys and, and that their pendulum swings too far. Um, and where are we at in the trend? It is believed by many that we're in this upward trend. And again, nobody knows how far, how fast this is going to go. Something to think about. Thanks again for tuning in and have a great day.